hey, hey. What's going on, YouTube? Rod on the road, signing on. I am, I got a great cameraman today. Uh, it's my boy. But today, we're traveling. And we are in the middle of an empty parking lot. And in this parking lot, it's nothing but emptiness. But I got some uh, ideas, I got some tips I want to go over today. Um, I hope everybody's doing good. I hope everybody's doing wonderful out there. And I hope everybody's having a good time. It is cold here where I'm at, where I'm located. Uh, I think the temperature last night may have been in the... I know it for a fact it was in the 30s. So uh, just bump the heater on and off to knock the chill out of the air, then turn it off. Then sleep with the heater on, which never do anyway, because I don't trust it that way. Using the Mr. Buddy heater, the small one. So everything was well last night. But I got into my phone some notes, some stuff I want to go over. Like I said, check me out. Uh, I, I did a video during the week. It was uh, just a general video. I'll be doing a midweek video uh, every week. Hopefully, I can keep that up. It's just going to be some talking, some general conversation. I'm going to throw a few updates in there, but it's going to change a little bit from just a lot of updates and a lot of DIY. It'll change to like some uh, just some general conversation, maybe some stories or stuff that happened to me that I maybe now don't discuss. But for now, this video here, I want to put this on your mind. Winter ideas. Winter's coming. I felt it last night. My hands got cold. But winter's coming. And we got to prepare for winter. I want y'all to give me some ideas on some winter tips as far as vans, RVs concerned. One thing last year that's going to be different from this year uh, and that is going to be the insulation. I had pillow insulation. I just took pillows and stuffed them in the vent windows to fill those voids last winter. And it worked okay, but it was a more headache than it was effective, I believe. Uh, no moisture issues or nothing. I just didn't feel like, I don't know, we'll see this winter uh, how, how they work. But they just took up too much space. I had so many pillows. Uh, Skip, forgive me, just excuse me just one minute. Sorry about that. Had a little sneeze. But, uh, yes, they took up, you know, when you're on the road and it turns summertime, you know, what do you do? You know, uh, in the summertime, I got all these pillows. What am I, buy pillows every winter? No. If I, you know, so the pillows just took up way too much space. And, you know, I don't think they really did what I thought they would do. So, in saying that, I got these big windows now that get cold, okay? Now, everything else insulated, but these windows, I wish, I want to know if there's a way. What I have in mind is maybe creating some type of a, a foam pad or some kind of an insulated pad that can be rolled up when not in use. And I can just leave them in the window or store them some other kind of way. And I can unroll them and they add me an extra layer of insulation to those big windows. So any kind of insulating foam y'all know about that could roll up and be unrolled is, is something that I kind of had in mind. Plus, last winter, I did not have this 2% tent on here. That's going to block out a lot of my heat, my sun heat, my sunlight heat. Um, you know, it absorbed a lot of heat last year. That helped warm the interior. But this year, winter, uh, that tent's going to block a lot of that heat. So it's going to be more, a little more difficult to cool. Not only that, I got a white top this winter. That's going to change the dynamic as well. So I'm figuring it's going to be a lot harder to keep that interior warm, I mean. So we're just going to come back that. I might have to get extra propane. We're going to figure it out and see what happens. Okay, let's move along. Oh, I keep memos on my phone now, so uh, yeah. I got eye bolts installed in the front bumper. Let me show you this front bumper. As you can see, these eye bolts right here, and I hope you can see that, those eye bolts I installed in that front bumper. I got one here, and I got another one right here. Now what those are going to do, just Home Depot DIY, I bolted them in there pretty good with washers. I'm going to hook a tow chain right here. 
and it's going to drape from side to side. And I think that toe chain is going to be donated. Someone uh, said they had a chain they'll be willing to let me have. Uh, a, a high in strength toe chain. And I'm just going to store it right there. And storing that chain right there, what that's going to do, what do you need a chain for? Well, storing that chain, what that's going to do is allow me to have a chain. I don't have anywhere else to keep it. I can keep it outside. It's a chain for crying out loud. I've weatherproof it or whatever. Plus, it just looks badass to me. Excuse my language. But it looks tough. I've been on the Overland Channel getting a lot of tips. And twice I've been stuck in grassy areas that I, I shouldn't have pulled off in. This thing gets stuck on slick grass, which is crazy. Luckily, I got help out. But that what, that's what made me start thinking about a chain. And I've also been looking at a four-ton come-along and maybe a, a tough nylon rope or strap or, or, or a lot, some nylon that I can store. And what I can do is I can hook that chain to a tree or whatever, and I can hook that come-along, and I can ease myself out of a situation if I ever get in one. You know, I just to me it's a good idea just to have with me. You know, it's not going to take up any space, and it's, it's, it, it won't cost much. Those eye bolts were not much at all. Um, so that's just something I'm thinking about. Plus, it looks cool to me, you know. So that's what those will be for. And let's see, what else? Um, let's see. Okay. All-terrain tires are coming next. Of course, this is not a four-wheel drive. It never will be. But I think all-terrain tires will help me get to those grassy locations where it's just the scenery is just perfect, you know. And that's where I would love to be. Um, and, you know, getting to those spots, like I said, you might run into, you know, sometimes you don't have help. And I don't want to, I'm just imagining if there weren't guys nearby in pickup trucks that could uh, pull me out, I would have been stuck there for a day, two, three days. You know, look, I did have a cell phone set but what if I didn't? You know, you got to help yourself. You can't really depend on help all the time. You got to lace your bootstraps up and, and, and get her done, as they say in some places. <laughs> As for, you know, I think it's pretty cool. But let's talk about this. One more thing I want to discuss. Uh, and that's the real estate on the back of this box. You know, yeah. I got a new cup. Keeps ice for a long time. I'm proud of it. It's a no-name. It's not a yet or anything, but I like it. Uh, I've had ice in here for like almost two days now. Well, a day. It seemed to keep ice for maybe 24 hours. I put a fresh thing of ice in it this morning and uh, got it from uh, Murphy's. And it's, and it's still in there. And it's a great cup. It was given to me. Thanks so much for that. But this is what I want to show. These eye bolts. And I know you say, okay, what do you got these eye bolts for? Well, I'm going to tell you what I got these for. You see this real estate right here? This is prime real estate. Now, what I plan on doing with these eye bolts I think I'm going to drill a hole in here, one here, there'll be four, maybe an additional one here, you know, four, let me see, four bolts here, four here, and what these will do is give me a place to bungee cord items right here, soft items now, sleeping bags, uh, heavy coats, stuff that when you're traveling with company, or even myself, and I don't want that interior space crowded, I can bungee cord, you know, put in a husky garbage bag, you know, tie it, stick it right here, and I can bungee cord stuff right on the back of this box when it's not in use. Of course, this is my cook station and my hangout station, but when not in use, I can also use it as a rack to store soft items. And yeah, the roof rack is still coming, but I'm gonna incorporate this real estate right here also as a place to keep things. All right, well with all that being said, the sun is beautiful, it's cold out. I'm probably gonna go and uh, fix some hot cocoa or some hot chocolate and I'll get ready to upload this video. And that's it, let me make sure that all the notes I had. Go to Ramon Reddick on YouTube and uh, send me a friend request. I'll be glad to hear from you over there. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it, and that's DIY, very low cost to no cost. You know, that didn't cost a thing to, to do that. All right, hit that subscribe and like button and share this video, and I really appreciate it. This is Rod on the Road signing off.
God bless America. Hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you next time, YouTube. Peace.